welcome to this song is nuts with rosette and peanut today we are going to be recreating the cover art for these three albums the lo-fi's the anxiety and iridescence this is for any music lovers or artists who need inspiration for their cover art in this tutorial, we're going to be using the free online editor, Pixlr. If you're not familiar with Pixlr, that's okay. You just need to know the basics. So just play around with the editor a bit before continuing the video. Before we get into the tutorial, check out our website, thissongisnuts.wordpress.com for more music related content like this. With that being said, let's get into it. Okay, so first you want to go to pixlr.com. This is the editor we're going to be using. Now click on Pixlr E. Now create new. And then since albums are like squares, click on social posts because that's 1080 by 1080. And you can name it whatever you want. We're doing the Steve Lacey, the Lo-Fi's Lo album. And click create the album is basically like a collage see it's just a bunch of pictures all together overlapping which is pretty easy so now I'm just gonna drop a bunch of image files into the canvas of all the images that I'm gonna use here So I've got all the images that I want to use and now I'm going to arrange them however I want. So just you can just like play around with it. Here I'm cropping the images because I don't want certain parts of it to be in the album. Okay, now I've got all my pictures arranged the way I want it. Now I'm just going to add filters and effects to all the photos, and then I'm done. Looks pretty good. Now we're going to recreate the anxiety album. Let's go to home and create a new social post. So first, we're going to need a model, and we're going to go to remove.bg and drop our model image here. Here's our model to remove the background behind our model. And now we're going to copy image and paste it in Pixlr. Now we have to erase everything and leave just the head. We're going to use the erase tool and erase everything except the head. There you go. Now we're going to make the picture black and white. So adjustment and then desaturate. Okay, now go back to adjustment, make sure your picture is selected, and then go to levels, and then we're just going to play with these three little knobs or whatever. Okay, and I just copy those, make sure you have like similar numbers. Looks pretty good. Now, I'm going to do the background color. We're just gonna copy the image here to album art and then paste it. Use the color picker and select the color. And then we don't need this picture anymore. Then we're just gonna use the bucket fill tool and just fill it in. Now we're gonna select the layer with our model on it, right click, and then change the blend mode to screen. That way, it removes all the negative space, the black color, and then just, yeah. Okay, now we're gonna do the outlines, the white outline. First, um, since our model is already like 
it's mostly white, we're gonna go in with a black outline first. This is pretty small though. And then, yeah, pretty small. You don't have to do this if you already have a black outline. And then we're gonna go outline again with a white outline. The default size is pretty good. And there you go. We've done the outline. Looks pretty good. Now, all we have to do is just add a little noise to the to the bottom layer. So you do to filter details, then down to add noise. You just want to play around with the amount. I think uh, 24 is pretty good. And that's it. Just do a little bit of finishing touches, and then there you go. You got your own, very own anxiety album. Okay, so now we're gonna recreate the iridescence album art. So go back to home, click create new, click on social post, and then create the project. So for this one, we're gonna need another model to be like the heat map model here. So Pixlr doesn't have this heat map effect, so we're gonna go to this website, techspeed.com slash photo dash effects slash heat map. So here you're gonna click on start photo editing and choose the model that you want to be the heat map. Now so click save. allow and then we're gonna go back to the remove.bg website then we're gonna drop our heat map image here to remove the background and then we're gonna copy the image and paste it onto pixlr the main part of the iridescence album is the heat map image and we have that now so now i'm just gonna arrange my heat map image and add a background and just edit it a bit with filters and effects. If you want to add the heat map gradient bar, just click on the gradient tool and then click on gradient and then arrange the colors like so. And then you can add and change colors too. And then after you do that, you want to sh shift left click and drag to the right and then you'll have this and then you can resize it however you want and that's about it it's pretty simple now you can just add your finishing touches and there you go I added some final touches off camera, but here are the final products beside the originals. Looks pretty good. These were like really fun to make. And you can use them for like personal use, like playlist covers. Or if you're an artist, you can use it as a cover art for your album or single. And make sure yours is different from the original. Like you can change the background, or arrange the pictures differently and make sure you have permission to use the images that you put on your cover. If you like this video, like, share, subscribe, and check out our website thissongisnuts.wordpress.com.